Hey everyone, welcome back to another The Maury's Plays Let's Play of Pokemon Shining Pearl and we are of course in Eterna City and we have got a, a lot of Pokemon actually. Uh, we've caught, or we've seen I believe, or is that seen or caught? I don't know, but we've got 44 Pokemon in our Pokedex. Uh, that's probably seen actually, I don't think we've caught that many. Uh, we've been playing for around 5 hours, we've caught uh, a bunch of Pokemon, we've got 2 badges, and we've just defeated the gym leader in Eterna City. So we're just going to continue now, uh, we're going to go and investigate the uh, Team Galactic Tower uh, here. We can finally use Cut outside of um, Battle, so we should go ahead and cut these trees down. Thank you, Beanoof. Uh, we're gonna go and check out what Team Galactic are up to. Uh, is there any secrets around here? Oh! I didn't expect to be cutting a tree. I went to pick up a Pokeball because I thought there might be a Pokeball hidden there, but we can't actually get through here. Oh, and it takes us to a Pokeball anyway. TM46 Thief! Um, okay, that's pretty uh, appropriate, I would say. <laughs> we just stole it. Okay, I don't think there's gonna be any other secrets, is there? We like to search every corner. Um, at least the obvious places anyway. We're probably missing a bunch, but we always like to check. We like to chat to everybody as we go. We don't want to miss anything. And uh, so, wow, there's a lot of grunts in here. So I suppose we should talk to them all. Uh, Team Galactic isn't interested in the world. Our gaze is beyond the stars. Welcome to Team Galactic. Are you here to donate your Pokemon? What, you're not? Then kindly get off our property. Uh, do we have to bring the pain like we did with the cycle shop manager? Oh, I see. I'm starting to get a clearer picture of what's going on here. We are gathering Pokemon for an astonishing undertaking. Your meddling won't be tolerated. Oh, dear. Well, we'll see about that. We've got a pretty strong team building at the moment. Uh, Team Galactic runs tonight, Wormful! The adorable Caterpillar Pokemon, who we will have no problem <laughs> defeating. Always feel a bit terrible, but there we go. Uh, yep, Wormful, super effective. Sorry, man. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, what next? Um, we, oh, okay, we've got a few experience. No leveling up yet, though. Uh, Team Galactic uh, uh, I can't get my words out today. Team Galactic Grunt is about to send out a Cascoon. No, we're going to keep with the Monferno. I get the feeling most of the Team Galactic are using, um, like, bug and poison type Pokemon. So we should be okay to keep using Firewall. Seems like the best move so far in the game. It's just annihilating the Pokemon. Uh, we're not getting much XP at all though is the only thing. I suppose our Pokemon are, are getting to the level now where th the usual XP we receive just doesn't it doesn't measure up to what it has been before. Like you don't see level up so quick, you know what I mean? Uh, I feel like I got meddled with. You got 780 Pokemon for win. I feel like we're going to go straight into another battle here. Oh, we didn't. Oh, we will. <laughs> Uh, excuse me, we were just off tile there. Sorry, dearie, Team Galactic doesn't accept children as members. I get the feeling you might regret saying that. Um, Team Galactic Grunt? Oh yes, they have Zubat as well. No problem. We've got a... a Oh, not very effective fighting. I thought fighting moves would be quite effective, but I guess not. So we'll just stick with the flame wheel again. There we go. Easy. Almost don't feel guilty about doing that to a Zubat because they're quite annoying. <laughs> but yeah, a little bit guilty. Uh, oh, a Glammeow. Nice. It's, it's just like when they have like Arbok and like Meowth in the old in the old games, like a lot of the uh, Team Rocket characters. Um, oh, super power! We'll do super effective power up punch. Oh no, not fake out again! This move haunts us. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, let's try again. There we go. Uh, super effective. That's okay. I don't know if there was any other Pokemon. I didn't. L I always forget to look how many Pokemon they're carrying. Uh, but it should raise our stat unless it's the end. Oh, it is the end of the battle. <laughs> what? They're like, but dearie, you're just a kid. Uh, you got 840 Pokedollars. Thank you. 
I appreciate it. Okay. Where to? Whoa, a room full of grunts. Have to do our traditional check the trash. Trash is empty. If, what are you all doing? Your homework? Our objectives are incredible. Too incredible for me to understand. I'm fight blindly to defend them and your intrusion won't be forgiven. What? If you say so. Okay, two Pokemon. I, I spotted it that time. It's going to be a Wurmple and a, a Cascoon, probably. It's like, how many battles do we have to do for them to just kind of give up before we even start battling? <laughs> Um, I'm sure we'll see like a Team Galactic boss or someone or someone high up uh, Towards the top of the building no doubt. That's normally how these games go uh, And we'll have a bit more of a struggle. Oh another Zubat. Okay, let's switch out uh, to Luxio this time Give Luxio a chance to use some electric attacks. It's always super fun. Oh, oh yes, uh, yeah, Zubac uh, counteracts the uh, uh, intimidation, but we can use the spark, which is like one of my favorite electric moves this early in the game. It's just so simple, super effective. I think we were right to do that. I I'm pretty sure uh, Monferno would have had no problems in that battle, but it's fun to switch out the Pokemon every now and then, especially when we know it gives us an advantage. They all look so surprised. What was I fighting for again? I don't know. Get back to your homework. <laughs> I mean, do you give us items or anything afterwards? No. Oh, Team Galactic is working hard to find new energy sources for the future. Oh, you don't want to battle. Okay. How about you? Let's see how good this Pokemon is. I stole it from some weak trainer. Uh, hopefully it's not too strong. One Pokemon. Okay. At least the dialogue matches up with the actual battle. Oh, a Silcoon. Oh, it looks sad. And now we're going to make it sad. <laughs> oh, oh, oh dear. Maybe we'll just go easy and do only an Ember. <laughs> Should still be enough. Yeah. <laughs> it's super effective. The opposing Silcoon fainted. Look, it doesn't. Our XP doesn't. Our XP bar doesn't even move hardly now. We've got the, the, our levels are so high now that you don't even see the bar move. That's what I was trying to say earlier. Nine hundred Poké Dollars for winning. Also, we're just robbing Team Galactic at this point. We are conducting research on new forms of energy. We want to harness the mysterious power of Pokémon. How many floors has this building got? Okay, looks like we've got a mandatory battle here. Can we check the computer? No. Check online banking? No. Check Twitter? No. <laughs> there we go. Uh, why thank you! We love it when people come to us to donate their Pokemon! Team Galactic Grunt sent out a Wurmple! We're going to jump in with a Quick Claw. Super effective. Oh, I'm sorry, Wimple. Uh, got XP. Oh, we did just saw it that time. And Monfono did go up a level, but Monfono does seem quite weak. I don't. I still don't know if these are good stats or not. No, we don't want to switch. Um, okay, we're going to go with a flame wheel. Yeah, we're pretty much guaranteed to win as long as Monferno has PP for pa uh, fire moves. We should be okay. Uh, nope. Uh, this is why in previous games I've often tried to skip as many battles as possible because... Especially the grunts and that, it does become quite tedious doing kind of the same battle over. But if there's one thing we've learned in this game, it's to do all the battles you see, or at least most of them. Um, so when you come to face the next gym, you're 
your train, uh, your Pokemon are already the right kind of level. I think the game progresses you in that direction on purpose, uh, so you don't need to do too much training. And you get way more experience from, I think, trainer battles than like just battling Pokemon in the wild. At least that's what I uh, kind of get from that. Ordinary people like you can't understand Team Galactic's grand designs. Come to think of it, I don't even know what's going on. Can we sneak past? No. Just gonna make them walk to me. <laughs> our mission is to implement our operations without question. It's all for New World Order that our boss will lead. Okay, if you say so. You challenged my scientist, Travon. Okay, Travon. Oh, Kadabra. So some of the scientists have got Psyche Pokemon. I love that. Uh, Monferno. Okay, we might be able to do... Oh, no, Power Punch isn't very effective. We'll have to stick with the firework. Probably won't do too much. Oh, that's surprising. I uh, saw so level 15 Kadabra though, actually, so that's not too bad. Yay, and our Kadabra leveled up. One Kadabra for another. You defeated uh, scientist Tavron. And the rich scientist, he gave us 1,000 Poke Dollars for winning. Okay, let's go. Hopefully this is the last floor. Okay, it's the last floor. Quick check round before we initiate any uh, dialogue. Nothing in here. What is it with this Team Galactic? Uh, why did they take our Pokemon? What are they trying to accomplish? Commander, huh? did you want something? How silly of me to even ask. You want to free the Pokemon? Yeah, that's gonna happen. Yeah. It is going to happen, or at least we hope it's going to happen, anyway. Are you challenged by Con Commander Jupiter? Commander Jupiter sent out Zubats. Okay, what level are we looking at here? Oh, I missed, I missed how much Pokemon they had. Um, eight, oh, two Pokemon, level 18 Zubat, okay. Ooh, mean look. Uh, <laughs> okay. Trying to distract us. Monferno is too focused for this. Okay, that should get some, yeah, XP there. Wow, it's really starting to slow down the leveling up. A skunk tank. Cool, okay. Uh, we can go for a power up post this time. Level 20 of those might put up a bit of a fight. What type is that? Oh, poison is it? Poison ground, maybe? Okay, yes. Raise our attack, one fellow. Well done. Just going to keep using those power up punches. Oh no, a berry! A citrus berry. We're going to have to find some of those. No, we're gonna get poisoned. No, stay, hang in there. No. Um, okay, so we should be able to just keep doing the power up punch, I think. As long as no potions or berries are used, we uh, should have one more hit, hopefully. Wow, that was a cool move. I like the effects of that one. This should be it. Yay. Aftermath? What's aftermath? Monfano was hurt. Sneaky. Uh, Dratini leveled up. Yes, and Staravia. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that bird flying Pokemon's name correctly. I don't really like that name. Uh, losing to some child, being careless cost me too much. Uh, you got 1,840 Pokédollars for winning.
Well, aren't you tough? It's okay though, our official Pokemon statue investigation is finished, and Mars has collected energy from the Valley Windworks. We're pretty much finished here. I'll let you in on one little thing. Our boss is researching the myths of ancient Pokemon. With the power of mythical Pokemon, he will be the ruler of Sinnoh. I said you keep your Team Galactic's affairs from now on. Oh, out of <laughs> uh, This is your last warning. Nah. I don't think so. I got my Clefairy back and it's all thanks to you, but that Team Galactic, they said Clefairy came from space, hand it over. <laughs> Their logic baffles me still, it's like they're from space. Anyway, they're gone now, thank you very much. I can't thank you enough right now, but cruise by my cycle shop, okay? Oh, okay. I guess all the grunts are gonna be gone as well. Yeah, have they left anything on the computers? We literally can't even use the computers. Oh, they've left some paperwork. Nothing on the paperwork. No. Okay, let's uh, go ahead to the cycle shop. Hopefully we can get our hands on a bicycle now. I think we'll have to go back to where we began. Because there were some cycle routes there. Okay, where's the, where's the cycle shop? Is it this one? Oh, there's Clefairy. Clefairy, see, how does that not register in our Pokedex? Uh, what was Team Galactic trying to do with the other people's Pokemon? Thanks for rescuing me. I can't thank you enough. Say, let me give you a bike to show my gratitude. Please come with me for a moment. Okay. Where are we going? Going outside. Uh, I'd like you to choose a colour for your bike. Which will it be? Uh, blue, red, yellow, or green? Um, I'm going to go with red to match our hats. <laughs> uh, do you want a red bike? Yes. Pretty cool. Marvelous. You've chosen red. The color of passion. It calls to mind images of the flame of Charmander's tail. It's perfect for you. You attained the bike. Awesome. Can we register it as well so we don't have to keep grabbing it from our pockets? Uh, it's the latest model, so you'll be operated. Uh, you so I'll read the operating manual to you. Press the B button to shift gears. It says, "Oh, the third gear, the bike cannot reach full speed, but it will be easier to handle. In fourth gear, it can ride at full speed and climb up slopes. The bike can take you through all sorts of towns, roads, and routes. Now get out there and ride. Cool." Uh, bike riding. Ride your bike from your bag to key items pocket. Press the B button to speed up or improve control. How complicated. <laughs> um, oh no, I keep wanting to accidentally go in the underground. Okay, let's see if we can register the bike. Um, how do you want to, Oh no, I don't want to sort it. I want to register it. Oh, it's favorited. How do I... Oh, there we go. Register. Awesome. So now we should just be able to... How do we get off? Okay, we just have to deselect it. Okay, cool. I guess that's all we need to do in this town. There's nothing else really here to explore. I do wonder whether we need to go back the way we came. Uh, Turn the city, history, living. Okay, there's nothing else here. Oh, what route? Are we on a new route? 211. Turn the city to the left. Why is there random patches of grass missing? Oh, we find a Pokeball! Nice. Okay, finally, some wild Pokemon we haven't seen. Oh! A Chingling! I thought it was a little Natu to start with. Um, okay, let's do a little Ember. That's adorable! Oh no! We didn't mean to faint it. 
We'll have to try and catch another one. Is this the only patch of grass for a while? So maybe we'll just sort of search for another one here, hopefully. Oh, cool. Meditite. I think we already caught one. No, we didn't. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, we need to go to a Pokemon Center. There we go. That should be enough just to be able to throw a Pokeball. Come on, Fodo, hang in there. We're going to go straight to a Pokemon Center after we've caught a couple of Pokemon. Pretty much need to catch everyone we find, I think. We'll have to do some Wonder Trades again soon as well. I uh, should find out what version exclusives there are and see if we can find them in Wonder Trades. That would be so good. That would be a really good video. Okay, we'll send you to the Pokemon box. And we want to catch one of them Natu lookalikes. With the gloves on its head, whatever it was. Um, we don't really want another Geodude, so we're just going to run from this battle. I hope that Pokemon wasn't rare that we saw. No! I know there's like certain conditions for some Pokemon, so I hope we haven't like, like you won a day or something like that. That would be pretty annoying. Oh, wow. We don't really want to battle. We just want to kind of find one of those little floating Pokemon. I forgot what's name. Chingling. Where are you, Chingling? Oh, cool. Ponyta. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we don't need another fire Pokemon, but we definitely want to catch you. Um... Let's just do a Ember, just to take a little bit of damage, and then we can throw a Pokeball. Oh, that took a lot of damage. Wow, it was really cool catching Ponyta early in the early in the game. Oh no, Monferno! Uh, use next Pokemon. Yes, we want to just throw a Pokeball, really. Yay! Always like to celebrate catching a Pokemon. Because then we don't have to worry about it anymore. Although we need to evolve some of them. Especially if you want to, say, complete the Pokedex. <laughs> I don't think I've ever completed a Pokedex apart from in Pokemon, uh, the, like Pokemon Red. I think, like, oh, Pokemon Red and Blue, the originals, I think I did it on those. Right, let's go back to the Pokemon Center real quick. Um, and then we'll head back out that way. Route 211. Uh, where's Pokemon? I'm <laughs> just walking straight past the Pokemon Center, daydreaming. Not paying attention at all. Yeah, so I love the speed of walking in this game, but it's really, the turning with a joystick seems really annoying. That's only, I love the graphics, I love the camera angle, the top down, and I love the fact it's still kind of tile based, even though it's like 3D. But the one thing that's quite annoying is kind of the turning, you do, it's not very responsive, so you can kind of hit things like that, trying to get around things. Um, I feel like it should have a little bit better collision, but... I guess that's just personal preference as well. Uh, okay, let's one more try, see if we can catch a uh, Chingling. Yay! Well, not yay yet, but yay we encountered one. Oh, it's a little bell thing. Oh, that's so cute. It's got a little ball in its mouth. So it's like with the holes on the sides, it's like one of them little bells. Little charm bell things. Um, 
Okay, I'm just gonna, do you know what? I'm just gonna go for a Pokeball. Um, why not? We need to buy some more actually as well. Come on, no! That was so close. Um, okay, you're done. Oh no, don't put Monferno to sleep. Oh, it's just drowsy, that's okay. Um, okay, I, I guess we can try a Great Ball. Why not? Just because we don't want to lose it. Oh, what? The Pokemon broke free? Oh, Monfoni's asleep. Okay, I don't think we've got any Pokemon that would do l not very much damage is the only thing. Um, this is where we... I guess the benefit of having moves where you can put Pokemon to sleep and stuff like that is when you're trying to catch the Pokemon, isn't it? So how did a Great Ball not perform as good as a Pokeball? What is that about? Yay! I'm not sure what happened with the first Great Ball there, but... Uh, Chingling was added to the Pokedex. Each time it hops, it makes a ringing sound. It deafens foes by emitting high-frequency cries. Oh, that's a really sweet Pokemon. I don't think I've ever seen that one before. Or if I have, I've not taken too much notice of it. Which is a crime. It's super cute. Okay. Oh! <laughs> They're queuing up to battle. Bidoof! Get out of here. <laughs> oh, is our mom first to sleep? Um, can we, I just want to wake Monferno up without um, going to a Pokemon Center. Although at this rate, we might have to. How many, moves, how many turns is he going to be asleep for? Bidu's like, my luck, a sleeping Pokemon. There we go, Monferno woke up. And although we lost a little bit of HP, we don't have to go back to the Pokemon Center now, so it should be good. Okay, let's go. Looks like we're climbing some mountains. Uh, Route 211, Mount Coronet. Okay. Oh, hey! Uh, see how Mount Coronet towers above us? I want to be big like that one day. Oh, good luck. Okay, we're gonna have some rock or fighting Pokemon to deal with now too. Hiker Lewis. Okay, nice beard. And nice Geo dude. Yeah, Monferno. Oh, actually, we've got fighting moves. We're okay. Uh, we won't want to think about switching out our first Pokemon soon because uh, so we're gonna see some type changes soon as we progress through the game, I'd imagine. Um, so we have a lot of rock and bug Pokemon, which is kind of typical, I think, at the start of most Pokemon games. Onyx. Uh, we'll, we'll keep our current Pokemon. There we go. Might as well do another super, super duper powerful punch. There we go. I can't remember which move it is, but one of them is the bigger the Pokemon is, the more damage it does as well. I'm sure it was one of the punches. Um, a, a powerful presence towers before me, it's you! Whoever writes this dialogue is so clever and, and knows everything about the game. Thank you, Wild Bidoof. I need to go and face this trainer down here, I think. Oh! Hello. Look at these beautiful wings! For a second, I thought that was our rival. Are you challenged by Bird Keeper Alexandra? I've forgotten what our rival looks like. I just saw big hair. <laughs> okay, flying Pokemon. So maybe we're going to start seeing some flying Pokemon. Oh, Hoot Hoot! Yeah, nothing to power up Punch can't solve, I don't think. Okay, so a little bit of damage we're taking. As long as Hoot Hoot doesn't put us to sleep, we should be okay. We'll do a Mac Punch just to make sure we go first. Come 
Monferno is still growing. Getting a bit of a lead as well on the other Pokemon. Oh, what? No, we don't want to learn that. Uh, Gastrodon level 20. I forgot we called it Gastrodon. That was a pretty tough little Pokemon. Yes, learn Ancient Power. I love that move. Not ever very effective, but um, it's a pretty cool move, nevertheless. So, let's. Oh, we get rid of Harden. We hate that move. Uh, Gastrodon forgot Harden and it learned Ancient Power instead. Oh, uh, you, I'm going to peck you for that. Oh, okay. <laughs> if you say so. Not sure what that means. How come bird Pokemon have such beautiful feathers? Hold one up to the sun and you can see so many colours in it. TM Taunt! All this for a TM! We didn't even notice it going over the bridge. Okay, so we're going to head through... Oh, there's the tiniest patch of grass there. Did you see it? Okay, we're going to get... Yeah, we're going to get lots of Pokemon in here, I think. Oh, little baby Clef... Yeah, Cleffer! Oh, that's a... Look how small it is! <laughs> that's super cute. Um, do you know what? We're going to go straight in with a Pokeball again. Waste no time to catch this baby Pokemon. Surely it can't escape a Pokeball. Yay! First time. Nice! Super cute. I imagine this a little bit rare as well. Look at his tiny little footprint. We'll send that to the Poke Pokemon box. Do we have to swap our boxes automatically or will they change... Uh... Oh, how do we get that Pokeball there? Can we use our bike? No. How do we get to the Pokeball? Dude, dude, we don't have time for this. We're trying to steal random Pokeballs. Okay, we're gonna run away from a few wild Pokemon, I think. Um, okay, this is quite hard to control. Oh, you may be able to push it. Oh wait, it's a big boulder, but you may be able to push it uh, aside with a hidden move. Oh. So there's nothing for us to do in the cave. I wanted to check out this tiny little bit of grass. Oh, it's just the same kind of Pokemon. A Metatite. Uh, we don't really want to battle you. Okay, so I guess we do head back. Let's have a look at the town map real quick. Um, so, okay, so we want to head to... Oh, Route 206. Smoothly paved in asphalt. Cycling road is uh, heavenly for bicycle. I didn't even know there was a gate there. Did we miss a, an entire gate? Who's it gonna be? A Bidoo. Uh, go Monferno, I know you can do it. We're gonna go to the Pokemon Center anyway, so we're just gonna beat up this Bidoo. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it's hardly worth battling the wild Pokemon here. Another one! Feisty wild Pokemon in Eterna City. Okay, so let's head to the Pokemon Center. Heal our Monferno since um, we took a little bit of damage. And then we'll check out this uh, cycling road. I had no idea there was a cycling road. I don't know how we missed that one. Uh, normally you see a big gate. I just heal up our Pokemon. They look so cool on the screen. Thank you. Okay, was there... Where, how do we get to the cycling road then? Oh, there is a gate, of course. 
I just wasn't paying much attention. Maury, long time no see. Oh, you look puzzled. You're wondering who I am. I'm Professor Roan's assistant and Dawn's father. I've come a long way at the behest of the um, professor to help you on your adventure. Maury, let me ask you, how many Pokemon have you met? Oh, you've met 48 Pokemon. Wonderful. Yes, bravo. Pokemon, uh, professor Rowan should be delighted. Here's something for you. You obtained a rare candy. Nice. Uh, you put the rare candy in your other item's pocket. Uh, you can raise your weak Pokemon or you could train your strong Pokemon. Use them as you like. Also, a Pokemon you get in trade may disobey you if you get if its level's too high. Don't worry though, if you uh, it will obey you if you have enough gym badges. Yeah, Rare Candy also has another disadvantage that it doesn't raise the stats as much as if it had leveled up naturally. So, uh, Learn how to shift gears, you'll be able to ride anywhere. Learn how to shift gears, you'll be able to ride anywhere. Okay, so this is, this is going to be a big road, is it? There's going to be lots of trains here. Oh, so we are on Route 206. Oh, we, we, can, we can cycle up the steps? Yo, having a good time cycling? I guess so. We're going to battle on a bike. The battle of the bikes. Okay. Cyclist Axel. We've got one Pokemon. What kind of Pokemon does Cyclist have? Bird Pokemon. Okay, we might have to switch out uh, Luxio for our, to head our army. Uh, but if we do it now, we're going to lose a move. So we're just going to go with a power-up punch. Um, yep, Monfellon's attack rose. A growl? Is that a defense? Yeah, I think. Oh no, attack fell. Okay, that's okay, we just raised our attack. Ooh, so close. Growl again. Uh, there we go. Ember. I'm going to use Ember. That's all we need. A few HP there. And that's the battle over. I don't know how long this... On the map, the cycling route looked really long. And, hey, not bad. You. You got 816 Pokedollars for winning. Oh. It just takes us down here automatically. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. I think we're going to wrap it up here and then we'll tackle the cycling road in the next video. So um, this seems a good place to end it. I hope you're still enjoying this series. Let me know any feedback or thoughts you have. Uh, please like the video and I'll see you next time. Oh, and thank you, of course, to the channel members. Sorry, I almost forgot. Thank you to the channel members um, and everyone who's watched. I'll see you next time. Bye.